registered severely visually impaired or blind i just wanted to tell you guys what that means for me and my everyday life and all that crazy stuff let's go vision impairment is a wide spectrum from people who maybe just wear glasses to people who have never seen anything because they've been blind from birth i was born with a genetic condition i can get tumors or cells which shouldn't really be there in my body and the main tumour I have is on my optic nerves which connects the eyes to the brain and because they've been squashed for such a long time it means my vision isn't very good. I don't do things in the same way you may do things, for example, school. Now at school I work very differently to everyone else because I don't read text the way you do. I read braille and I know that you've been looking at braille in form time and basically it's a tactile writing code but the braille books are very bulky. So this is one unit of the GCSE math syllabus. I also use a machine called a braille note and you may have seen me using this. Braille can be very complicated as I read maths braille, German braille, English braille and musical braille. So in English braille a th sign in German braille would equal a ch sign. In maths braille would equal zeta and in musical braille is a crotchet C. Can be a bit confusing sometimes, I'm not going to lie. So you may be thinking, Rowan, what do you do to relax? I enjoy watching films in a setting called audio description, explaining to you what's going on on the screen. And I actually really, really like it, it's amazing. And my whole family actually really enjoys it. Another thing I enjoy doing is reading. As well as reading braille books, which I really enjoy, I also love listening to audio books. And another thing I like to do is go on my phone. So I might want to look up a recipe, let's say, how to make a pizza. So the first thing I'll do is I'll say, Siri, voiceover on. Okay, I've turned voiceover on. So then I'll say, Siri, Search the web for how to make pizza. Okay, I found this on the web for how to make pizza. Check. How to make pizza, BBC Good Food. Siri, call mum. Calling mum, home. And it just does it. It sounds crazy, but I actually have to be formally taught how to butter bread and make tea and do all that sort of stuff. a talking microwave oven which I use I use it pretty much every day to make myself like a hot snack or hot chocolate and stuff. I also like rowing. I've been doing this about a year now. And I feel like it works, you know. Rowing does rowing. I also play clarinet um but my clarinet is a little bit different. So as you can see so I play with one hand and I'm using the braille music with the other hand. So when I'm going out and about, I sometimes use my walker, which you may have seen me using around school. But also I use a long white cane, the traditional vision impaired stick. Another thing which I struggle with at school is knowing who people are. For example, if you say, oh hi Rowan, in the corridors, I'll say, oh hi, I won't know who you are. Um, so, you know, even though I reply and say hi, because I want to be polite, I most likely will not know who you are. Unless you say, oh hi Rowan, it's Heather, or whoever you are. Um, that would be great if you actually started doing that around the school. So, that's it. Um, I hope you've learned something about me. And I hope you know a bit more about what it means to be visually impaired. And next time I'm in, please come and say hi to me and your name.